Corbinian, this Texas Stars team has done well over the course of this season. What do you see in the talent of their forwards? Uh, I think they got uh, four lines rolling. I think they have a lot of depth on their four line, forward lines, and uh, every line can do damage. And they obviously have some skilled guys in the first lines, and uh, like they're, they're they're the best team in the league for a reason. I think so. Uh, yeah, we got to be aware any time on the ice, any time uh, their lines are on the ice, doesn't matter who's out there. We got to be aware and uh, match their uh, intensity and uh, try to uh, be hard on them. Do you need a different kind of team to have success in the playoffs? Do you need to change anything? Uh, I don't know if we would have to change anything. Like we just try to play our game and uh, just try to uh, get to like stick to our game plan and. Uh, try to bring bring the game to them and uh, not receive too much. Uh, we want to push the pace and uh, try to be physical obviously and uh, just play our game like we like we all like we did all playoffs and all season and then uh, I think uh, we've been pretty successful so far. They played a uh, they've played a skill and speed game and that has been what uh, the Marlies have faced both from Milwaukee and Chicago is that an advantage? I don't know if it's an advantage. It's never really an advantage in the and then, like if you get that far in the playoffs, I think uh, they have skilled lines and they have guys who can, who can uh, hit too. Like they, they're not, uh, or they are very physical too. So they got skill, they got physicality, and uh, they can do some damage with every line. And they got very good D-men, and uh, the goaltending has been solid all year too. So it's going to be a tough challenge for us. But uh, I think that's the fun part of uh, being a professional. You always have challenges, and uh, you want to rise to the occasion and uh, beat those challenges.